the cats that we commonly call domestic short hairs. So a brown tabby can absolutely be the sister of a long-haired calico or tortoiseshell, um, as in this case. So these little kittens were a pretty big litter and they went through our foster care program, which is a really great way to adopt a kitten because these kittens have already been litter trained and played around in a house and um, gotten time with each other to learn not to play rough. The nice thing about being able to keep litters together is that when they wrestle and bite and grab each other and uh, accidentally hurt each other and then their litter mate withdraws from them as a punishment for being too rough, they actually learn to be gentle. And it's a great thing for um, socializing kittens that are going to be pets because cats do like to fake hunt as a form of play and it's very nice for them to learn that uh, being gentle when they're fake hunting is a good idea if they want to keep the game going. And um, there are plenty of kittens to choose from in this particular batch, but as I mentioned before, we have a, a shelter full and foster homes full of beautiful tiny cats that need uh, to find new homes. And uh, they, they're just a bundle of fun. But just like with puppies, there's a little bit of work that you put into it before you get the lovely cat that sits beside you on the couch or uh, lounges by the fireside. You're gonna have to get through the next couple of weeks of chasing earrings and eating earbuds and uh, going under um, the dryer and climbing behind the bookcase, things you never really imagined would happen. One of the things that kittens can do that can be quite dangerous is they can get inside of a recliner chair. So uh, if they do that, uh, you can't recline the chair until you rescue them because it's dangerous in there for them. Um, but they do silly things and you have to watch over them. So one of the questions that people ask most often is, uh, can you teach a cat not to scratch your belongings? Absolutely. One of the consequences of not training your cat is that you will end up with a five-year-old cat and a very ratty sofa and you will talk to your vet about declawing, which number one is expensive, and number two is not without risk, and uh, number three doesn't always solve the problem because cats uh, can scratch with their back feet and also um, can sometimes um, get a little bit of recovery time needed for the declaw surgery which results in them finding out that their claws don't work and therefore they should use their teeth. We are